Now that you've started building a few queries here out in Power Query Editor, it might not be a bad time to also start looking into Profiler. So with this, we're going to go down to our Start menu. We're just going to type in SQL. I can either open up Microsoft SQL Server Management Studio and get to it that way, or I'm just going to go directly to it. So here with my SQL Server Profiler option. Select that now. We'll go ahead and see the nice little splash screen here. We'll insert our credentials. Uh, so we'll go to File, and then we'll do a new trace. The server type is going to be our database engine, and our server name is just going to be our local host. If you've installed on your local machine, if not, go ahead and populate that address and press Connect. And then we're going to go over to the Event Selection tab. We're going to deselect a few of these. Let's get rid of this Audit Login and Logout. Not really too worried about those. Uh, sessions, get rid of it. RPC completed, gone, and then uh, batch completed and batch starting here. Uh, I primarily use batch completed, but if you'd like, you could go ahead and keep batch starting here as well. Uh, just for this example, we'll go ahead and keep them both. And let's go ahead and press run. And then we'll see this window is now trace started. So let's go ahead and send a query over now to our SQL server. So just here in the Power Query, I'm going to do a refresh preview just of this single query. And if I jump back over now to our profiler window, I can see all of these events that have started taking place. So I'm going to look for one of these select top 1,000. Awesome. So I can see the SQL that has been fired to the database. I've got a couple other information here. So I've got CPU, I've got my reads, writes, and then duration. Obviously duration being the total time it took for the query to execute. Now all of this is great, and yes, SQL Server Profiler is an industry standard, but what are some more modern options that I have available to me? For our next tool, I've included a link in the description below. So down in our Start menu, we're going to look for Azure Data Studio. And whenever this opens up, a new modern tool, I love it. So on the left-hand side here, we want to kind of concentrate on a few things. So at the very top will be our Connections tab. And then at the very bottom here, it's going to be our extensions. So let's click on that now. And then on our search extensions and marketplace, we're going to type in Profiler. Uh, I told you it was an industry standard. We're just not getting away from it. So if we look at this, this extension is recommended by Azure Data Studio. So let's go ahead and install this now. Just press that green button. Installing and done. Love it. So back up to our connections tab now. If we click this here, we can either click the add connection button or we can click this new icon here. So I'm just going to click on the icon, new connection. And the bottom right hand side here now, our connection type is the SQL Server. Our server address is going to be localhost. It's just on our local machine. And at the very bottom, we'll just press connect. Back in our connections window here for our servers, we see the localhost. We see some pretty cool uh, information here as well. So I've got my database size, so for wide world importers, and then also uh, logs. So what is that total size here in megabytes? But I'm going to expand this out now. I can see my databases. So AdventureWorks was installed as well as Wide World Importers. Then I want to pull up Profiler. So I've got two different methods here. I can uh, simply right click just on my local host and I can do Launch Profiler. Or I can press Alt and P, which is just our hotkey. So if I launch the profiler now, Right hand side here, I can just give it a kind of a, a custom name here. So my session name is going to be Power Query and then uh, Profiler. Awesome. Very bottom right hand corner, we'll go ahead and press Start. We've now got this session created, which is our Power Query Profiler. If you want, you can create multiple sessions just for the things that you're looking for. But with this, we're going to now jump back over to our Power Query. We're going to refresh this single query, so refresh the preview. Back in Profiler, we can see all of our events firing, just a lot of information. Uh, as we kind of remember from previous, though, with the different event tracings, I want to filter some of this now. So I'm going to click my Filter icon, add a clause, and then on the left-hand side here, my event class, I want it to equal SQL underscore batch underscore completed. I like those completed records. Press Apply. Oh, much cleaner. I love it. So here, once again, if I was to zoom out, I can look for one of these select top 1,000. Bottom here of our screen, I'll go ahead and press text. 
expand that out and I can see the SQL statement that's kind of being fired against our database. And of course, the more work I'm doing, the more testing, eventually I will want to clear this data. So on the right hand side here, clear data, clean screen, you are ready to fold.